Good afternoon. This is Greg with the Dapper Man coming at you with a weekly yeared update. Uh, just finished, well, this is what, week nine that I just finished. Uh, it's the early November. Uh, my last shave was in early September. Actually, it was September 2nd. Uh, today, I will be smoking a Brick House Double Connecticut uh, Robusto. Uh, what does Double Connecticut mean? It means that the uh, the wrapper, there are actually two wrappers, two Connecticut wrappers on here. So, uh, usually when you have one wrap, so you get most of your flavor in a cigar from the wrapper, a little bit from the binder and filler, but most of it actually is from the wrapper. And of course the wrapper is what actually is what you see. So when you actually have two wrappers, like here in this uh, Brick House Double Connecticut, uh, you, uh, you have two Connecticut wrapper leaves. Same with the like the CAO, the MX2s, the LX2s, the CA2s or uh, C, CX2s. Sorry, it's all two Maduro, two uh, Connecticut, two Connecticut wrappers. It's, you know, it's whatever it is times two. So I'm very excited about this. I haven't tried one of these brick house before. I just saw it at my local tobacco shop, so I figured I'd pick it up. Uh, I decided to use a punch. It is a robusto, so I decided to use a punch. So give me a second here. Let me see if I can light this thing up, and then we'll go ahead and get started on my yeard and the uh, Dapper Man's first challenge. So. There we go. There we go. Looks like a decent light. <clears throat> Someday, I'll show you the uh, three match lighting method. Uh, it's actually, <coughs> excuse me, it's quite intense. Um, but I just use a single match. And for whatever reason, if it's just being stubborn, I always keep my pipe lighter on me, so if I have to, I can just cheat a little bit and even up the cigar or whatever. Mm. Very good. I'll have to uh, do an official review on one of these at some point. Uh, and depending on how long I decide to stay out here today, I also have one of my absolute favorite cigars the nub by olivia this is a nub cameroon i like the nubs because it's a 60 ring gauge that's my favorite ring gauge uh because i'm bare hand so it just it's nice and chunky i just love that ring gauge and it's a decent size and these things taste fantastic i don't know the official uh, cigar rating score on them i'll have to look it up but i would guess minimum 88 89 90 uh if not higher maybe 91 92 so, again, smoking a brick house with a double Connecticut uh, wrapper, and later I'll be smoking my nub by Olivia. So, this week, Mrs. Dapper Man has decided that my beard makes me look lumberjackish or lumberjacky. I think she's just making up words at this point, but that's okay. Uh, as you can see, where did my comb go? It's here in my pocket, actually. Uh, as you can see, I still have my Kent comb. Actually, longest I've actually had a Kent comb. Normally I leave these about once a month. This one I've had for about two to three. Uh, as you can see, still not not in, incredibly thick on the sides, at least here at the top of the cheek. Uh, down at the bottom, it's uh, actually doing quite well. Very, very thick down at the bottom. As you, Also, you can see a lot of red. I'm actually surprised at how well the red is uh, staying. Uh, of course, on the chin, it's very, very th it's the thickest on the chin. I got a little bit of um, gray in there. I, I think the gray looks good. You know, a little bit of uh, distinction. And what I'm really happy to uh, announce is that I can finally start combing over the stash. I'm really happy about that. As I've said it before, my goal is to actually be able to handlebar my mustache. Even if I can get rid of everything else except for the handlebar and the goat, 
uh, because again I don't know how this is all going to turn out yet uh, I'll at worst I will keep uh, the nice thick goat and the handlebar the rest of it's actually turned out pretty well like I said it's color pretty good it's really really thick on the bottom it's getting long on the bottom that's actually where a lot of the growth is uh, so I've noticed because I sit at a computer all day, especially when I sleep, this kind of folds over in on itself. So I just keep my comb on me and just kind of keep it combed out. Now, <clears throat> I mentioned earlier that the Dapper Man is doing a contest uh, for No Shave November. So uh, No Shave November actually started as Movember. Uh, 30 Australian guys decided to stop shaving to bring awareness to uh, to male depression and prostate cancer and other men's issues, men's health issues. This started back in like 2004, I believe. Uh, it is now worldwide huge. It's now morphed into No Shave November. And this year, all donations for the organization are going to uh, the Cancer Prevention Society, uh, the Colorectal Cancer uh, uh, which I believe is just a like, colorectal cancer research firm, and then St. Jude's uh, Children's Hospital. The Dapper Man has decided that uh, they will create a team, and our goal is $2,500. So there will be a link in the uh, description below. Please go to the link, uh, join our team, go ahead and give whatever you can. The idea behind No Shave November is whatever you would spend uh, shaving, go ahead and donate uh, to this organization. So... A lot of good flavor. Uh, yeah, really, a lot of good flavor. I like this. I'll have to put this into my rotation. Sorry about that. Uh, so, yeah, go ahead and go to the link. Donate whatever you can. Um, whatever you normally spend on shaving for the month, go ahead and uh, donate to uh, the No Shave organization. Uh, so the contest will be joining our team. And so join our team. Uh, on the um, on the site and then follow us on like YouTube or, or Facebook or something like that one of our other um, uh, channels and post like kind of a kind of a, a picture of yourself in no shave November so uh, go ahead and like when you start the challenge and then as, as the challenge ends or you know you know kind of kind of like what I'm doing with my year uh, go ahead and you know post a couple pictures or if you want to do a video uh, talking about no shave November uh, go ahead and do that and then at the end of the month, Mrs. Dapper Man will choose three winners uh, to get uh, the Dapper Man blend of beard oil and beard balm. It's our own proprietary blend. Uh, it's something that we're actually going to start doing here probably within the next month or so. We're going to start selling a small batch version, uh, a small batch uh, beard oil and beard balms. We're only going to make a limited amount, and it'll be about once a quarter we'll make a limited amount and then we will go ahead and sell them. Once they're gone, they're gone. Uh, each quarter will be a new scent. So uh, right now we're testing the Autumn Spice. It's, uh, it's a little bit of clove, cinnamon, and of course our, our other blend of oils. It smells fantastic. Uh, one, one of our testers said it smells like a Spanish bakery. Uh, and so that's what Mrs. Dapper Man actually wants to call it, Spanish bakery. But we'll probably call it Autumn Spice. So at the end of the month, uh, again... Uh, and you have to live in the U.S., unfortunately. So live in the U.S., uh, join the uh, Dapper Man team uh, on the No Shave website, and then either on our YouTube channel or our Facebook channel, go ahead and post either a picture, some pictures or some videos of you uh, growing out your beard. Uh, talk about uh, No Shave November. And at the end of the month, we will give away... Uh, a beard will give away uh, three bottles, so it's, it's a set, really. It's a set of beard oil and beard balm from the Dapper Man. Uh, there'll be more information down in the description about about uh, the contest and the rules. There aren't very many rules. Again, you just got to prove that you have a, you're have you growing a beard. Join us uh, on either YouTube, Facebook, and join the team on the uh, No Shave website and be in the U.S., Ladies, if you want to do the contest for your uh, for your significant other, for your guy, uh, go ahead and just take a couple pictures of him growing his beard for No Shave November. 
go ahead and make a video about him, you know, growing his beard. And again, you, that's how you can enter in the contest as well. Make sure you, again, sign up uh, and join our team on the No Shave website. But that's it for now. I hope you have a fantastic week or weekend, whatever is left for you. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye.